Wayne Belcher here again with United Professional. We're out here in Eastern Washington doing a recalk on a very bad job. We're showing you how we're going to clean the inside of this joint. This data center has three lines of sealant in it. Very dusty, very dirty. You see how the extent we have to go to clean. Look down the wall and examine a few of these joints. They're all going to be replaced. The pressing on this one it seems very, very hard for a silicone. We're going to see just what they did here. It's too thick. Well, we're going to plan B. What are you doing, man? I busted that razor. I'm going to get my knife out yeah, here. Man. That might, that's my knife. I found this knife on the back of the truck. Is that your knife? It's my knife. You can't leave something on the back of the truck. It's a, it's a fancy, don't scratch it up. <laughs> now watch this. Oh my goodness, look at that. <laughs> Now that's great adhesion. Now take a look at the inside of this joint. Sarcasm. <laughs> Not even tooled tool at all. Again. So we see some consistency here and some terrible work. Anything else to say, Wayne? I want to thank you for this nice that's knife. My knife. Bye. Well, we're coming down the building to check a few more. This time we're going to do a non-destructive pull test. This is an ASTM standard, by the way. So let's see what we can do. Which ASTM is that, Wayne? Look at this. Turn it off. Not too bad in some areas, but right here, it just lost complete adhesion. So this is a good way, of, of, without having to cut it, just to see if we got adhesion, as you can see, complete adhesion failure. And that's how you do a non-destructive pull test. So now we're gonna pull that secondary seal out. I told you a picture of what it looked like. I had to give that knife back to my son. So I got my handy hook knife here. This isn't gonna be very hard, I don't think. Nope, and? Take a look at that bad boy. We love the competition. This is what a contaminated bond line looks like from not cleaning properly. <clears throat> well, now that we have uh, taken some of this failing sealant out, we're going to do a mock-up, put some fresh sealant in so that we can do an adhesion test in about 14 days. This is the outside joint or the secondary. Then we're going to put the primary inside so we make sure we get good adhesion for that secondary joint. Or, excuse me, the primary joint. Time for a new sausage. You, you know what? Maybe I should have done that tooling as well. Now that I shot it. You know what you're doing? You you're, you're sure playing with it a lot. That's because I didn't shoot it. You know, if I had, I just would have stroked it once. I
Yeah, I'll see. Well, make it pretty. Now you got that uh, the interior joint there. Very nice. Okay. You know, you do that just like I taught you. That's good. Start at the bottom, work up. Well, we're going to do another inspection, this time of the wheat tube. It should have a trough connecting the primary to the secondary sealant. Let's see what they've done here. So here's our wheat tube. In there. Sound effects there, huh? Now, let's see if there's a trough back Absolutely nothing there. That is for looks only. There's absolutely no function to any wheat tube on this whole building. Love the competition. 